Hello everyone, this is the second video on the Simplex 4007ES Fire Alarm Control Panel. This video will focus on the IDNAC variant. Unlike the hybrid version, which has four conventional signal circuits, the IDNAC 4007ES has a single SLC loop for adjustable signals, as well as two onboard programmable relays. The IDNAC loop can contain up to 127 adjustable signals. This demo setup features three initiating devices and two notification appliances. For initiating devices, we have a 4099-9004 pole station, a 4098-9714 smoke detector, and a 4098-9733 heat detector. The notification appliances include a 49VO WRF strobe and a 49AV WRF horn strobe, both part of the Truler ES series. Above these devices is a 4606-9205 touchscreen enunciator. This setup is 100% addressable, meaning each device has a unique address and sends information back and forth to the host panel. With addressable signaling, each notification appliance can be individually tested for audible and visual functionality. All ES series panels with IDNAC have a self-test feature to ensure functionality of all addressable signals. There's an automatic mode, which runs a test on all devices simultaneously, as well as a manual mode to physically inspect each device using a magnetic test switch. So let's demonstrate the Truler ES self-test feature in manual mode. We will also conduct a quick walk test with the Truler ES signals. So here we go. And that concludes the self-test and walk test with the TrueAlert ES signals. Interesting to note how the adjustable signals do not activate the strobes on walk test. 
The ID9 4007 ES supports the same optional modules as the hybrid version. These include the zone relay card, 25 volt regulator, network card, DACT, and so on. The only card that specifically applies to the ID NAC 4007ES will be the dual Class A ID NAC isolator. And that's it. Simplex first introduced adjustable signals in the early 2000s with true NAC devices. The newer TrueAlert ES series expands the variety of devices alongside additional testing features and physical capabilities. While complex, IDNAC signaling aims to reduce installation and maintenance costs while also minimizing current draw across longer distances compared to conventional signaling. This demonstration only shows the basic capabilities of adjustable signals. More advanced features, such as individual device control and integration with voice systems, can be seen on larger systems. As for enthusiasts, adjustable signals can be difficult to acquire and operate especially as all of the ES panels require proprietary software to program. As mentioned in the first part, the 407 ES has reliability issues, regardless of the type, and it is better to invest in another ES panel. The easiest and cheapest way to operate adjustable signals is with the 409 TrueAlert Adjustable Controller. This peripheral was originally designed for the older TrueNAC devices, and while backwards compatible, TrueAlert ES devices have limited features on this controller. In any case, if you have any questions or comments on the IDNAC 4007ES or addressable signals in general, feel free to post them below. But until next time, have a nice day.